Rafta is kind of where community happens. The full breadth of, of the community is on the bus. Definitely I see a difference between the seasons. You see a lot of people that go to work and a lot of people that go to just look around and ski. 2023 marks the 40th anniversary of the Roaring Fork Transportation Authority. RAFT provides transit service in a 70-mile region from Aspen to Glenwood Springs to Rifle, Colorado. As the largest rural transportation system in the country, we've witnessed substantial ridership growth. In the previous year alone, we've transported 4.8 million riders across 5.2 million miles. This is a notable 15% increase from 2022. We couldn't do this without our dedicated team of 380 plus employees who operate a fleet of 125 transit buses, which connects communities through three counties and eight member jurisdictions. It's not just about moving people, it's about fostering connections. I live Mid Valley and I work one direction and my daughter goes to school the other direction. So I would be driving up and down the valley numerous times a day if it were not for RAFTA. Beyond the cliche of shuttling skiers to Aspen, most of our trips are for commuting and daily life needs. Our services are as diverse as the communities we serve. Having one car, it's hard for us to be able to get to where we need to go sometimes. So being able to have the bus is a great resource to get places without using a car. A 2016 raft of ridership forecast predicted a robust 20% increase in passengers by 2036. We're currently engaged in ambitious initiatives to meet this need to enhance the commuter experience. This pragmatic approach to transportation planning includes the extension of bus priority lanes and expanding transit service along the Interstate 70 corridor and expanding opportunities for first and last mile mobility. It really takes foresight for an organization to be able to bring in different technology and infrastructure as well as to sustain a workforce to be able to provide such a large breadth of service. Our commitment to sustainability extends beyond lane expansions. It encompasses the integration of electric buses into our growing fleet. Complementing traditional transit methods, we're planning the future of the Rio Grande Trail. This is a rail-banked multi-use trail spanning 42 miles, connecting several communities along its route. The trail sees over 75,000 non-motorized users every year. Residents resoundingly endorsed a 2.65 mil levy ballot measure in a powerful display of collective commitment in 2018. This financial backing is pivotal in funding the strategic enhancements to our region's transportation system. Being able to meet the needs of our growing population with services like transit are crucial for our ability to serve our current and future residents. Keeping pace with regional population growth and ridership demand continues to be a pressing challenge. We see additional needs for essential infrastructure development, BRT route extension to the I-70 corridor, fleet expansion, and the recruitment and retention of personnel. After the first season, I probably would have left because it's very expensive here, you know. A primary concern revolves around the potential reduction in services due to a shortage of bus operators. To retain our current workforce and attract new talent, it is crucial to maintain a competitive salary structure and explore avenues for affordable housing solutions. Environmental and financial sustainability are two of RAFTA's strategic planning priorities. RAFTA recently completed its first climate action plan, which involves reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 90% by 2050 and encompasses the integration of electric buses into our growing fleet, currently numbering eight buses, with 10 more planned for 2025. We're currently working on two significant projects. The Glenwood Springs Maintenance Facility Expansion Project, valued at $72 million. The second project is the 27th Street Pedestrian Underpass Project in Glenwood Springs, totaling $17.9 million. The upcoming years hold exciting prospects for us. We're talking about expanded multimodal transit, additional bus priority lanes in congested areas throughout our service region, building upon innovative microtransit systems, continued maintenance and development of the Rio Grande Rail Trail Corridor, expansion of park and ride facilities, and an ongoing commitment to improving first and last mile mobility. Our communities can look forward to many enhancements that will make getting around more accessible and convenient for everyone.